Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are three now. I cannot believe that I'm actually doing this video and I know this is a little extreme having my baby feeding as I'm filming but it feels like this is all I'm doing in this period of time. Today uh, it's been seven days since I give birth to this little human. In a couple of hours we're gonna have his birthday. He's going to be one week old. Eden is such a um, joy. I, I couldn't have imagined life changing so, so much. The reason why I'm doing this video, because it's not going to be a makeup video, obviously. It's not going to be a beauty or skincare video. It's just going to be um, a chit chat. I wanted to update you guys about everything that's going on because you were with me in this whole journey while I was pregnant and I only find it fair and normal to tell you guys how I am, how my baby boy Eden, everything that I went through. You guys remember that I have struggled getting in labor being my first baby I heard that it is happening sometimes you know babies first babies do like to come a little bit later but I did not imagine that mine is going to take 41 weeks and four days to come so I did everything and if you're following me on Instagram you know that I've really tried worked out almost every day the last few weeks, walked a lot, take the stairs. I'm about to do these stairs. Let's hope. <laughs> Miracle will happen after. <laughs> eat dates, eat spicy, jump on the ball. <laughs> like, I tried everything. To just you know get myself into labor to have those first contractions unfortunately nothing worked we're going to the hospital for the check and they asked us they asked us to take the baby clothes and everything i don't think i'm gonna give birth today because first of all i don't want to be induced and second of all I have no signs. Unless something is wrong, which I doubt, I highly doubt that there's anything wrong, because the baby's moving just as usual. I am the usual me, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. People are so nice, no? <laughs> Like the moment you get in the hospital, they're like, all smiles, like, hey, welcome. It's very uh, comforting, actually. Uh, stop growing. <laughs> stop growing. <laughs> We have another 48 hours. If the baby doesn't want to show up, then I'm going to be induced. That's the way it is. So, baby, make the move. <laughs> make the big move. However, last Sunday um, on January 9th, I woke up around like 5 a.m. and I started to feel contractions for the first time. And I was so very happy because starting with January 5th, I had to go to the hospital um, every two days. And January 9th was actually the last day they would leave me without being inducted without having the birth being inducted. On my way to give birth. <laughs> I guess, yeah, this cannot be staying in here forever. 
I know it can be a long process, but I hope not. So let's just hope that I'm gonna give birth today. I had contractions since last night, but they were not regular. Four minutes apart, they were not constant and quite, uh, you know, bearable. Follow the sign. Where do we go now? Tonight is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us. Like the ceiling can't hold us. I present you the monitoring room. Look, they put me a bracelet, like in the club. Yes, so Sunday, January 9th, last chance for the baby to come naturally. I was super happy when I had contractions that morning and I thought they will, you know, develop and I will get bigger contractions and, you know, get eventually get in labor. But it did not happen. They had to induce me around 5 p.m. that same day. I was at the hospital. I try to relax in there and still like do all the exercises that I was supposed to do. And I remember that the contractions were getting a little bit stronger and a little bit closer together, but they were not regular. Sometimes they would be every 10 minutes, sometimes they would be every 12 minutes. And when I was checked, my cervix was only at two centimeters. So they decided to induce me. For some people, apparently, when you're being induced, it could take up to, I don't know, even like 24 hours or even more to really get into labor. As soon as they inducted me, within 15 minutes i've started to have contractions every two minutes listen you guys i feel like i'm the type of person that can take the pain you know i could take pain i couldn't take this type of pain i i just couldn't it was unbearable unbearable for me if you gave birth naturally, I have all the respect for you. I was just in so much pain, in so, so much pain. Thankfully, I didn't have to stay in that much pain because I got to be dilated to three centimeters and then they finally were able to do the epidural, which I was like, I had second thoughts about it. I was like, Okay, if it hurts, then I'll take it. If it doesn't, and I feel like I can do this on my own, I would be very proud to have unmedicated birth. And I remember that after they did the epidural, because I was screaming so loud, like none of the none of the you know practice that I did before the birth helped. It 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 felt like all those breathing exercises that I've done and that I've repeated and all the everything that I've been telling myself it just did not work the pain was bigger than me and I don't know if it was because I was induced or because you know that's how it is uh, but finally after I had the epidural I, I was feeling so much better but unfortunately Oh, one week in and my back hurts so bad. He, he was done, okay, now he's sleeping. So right after they did the epidural, unfortunately, Eden's pulse 
uh, was very very low it was getting lower and lower and they were waiting and like keep on asking me to move from one side to another uh, for him to have um, you know a better pulse but unfortunately it would just go lower and lower and lower and it did that for about four minutes all of this time I had two people with us other than my husband two nurses uh, and then as the heart rate was slower and slower, I kept on seeing people coming in, like three people, four people, five people, uh, and, and I was I was a little confused. I, I started to be a little bit worried. I see a nurse calling the, the obstetrician. That's when I realized, like, oh my God, like, what is going on? And I get into the biggest shock of my life because I thought that something really bad is happening with the baby and that I might lose him or and I didn't know what's going on uh, they were just talking so fast and in French obviously and uh, I started to shake and have this uncontrollable shake that I'd never experienced in my life because of a fear. I was so, so scared. I think if someone would explain this to me without being a mom, I would never understand. If your baby is in danger, nothing else matters. Like your own life does not matter at that point. It's like I was praying for the baby to be okay. And then all of a sudden, all I hear is, on va faire un césarienne. They were explaining to me that they're going to proceed to do a C-section. And everything happened so fast because it obviously was an emergency. My husband didn't even get the time to like put that thing on his hair and uh, get dressed. By the time he, he got in the same room with me, I was already cut, the baby was already out, like everything happened so, so fast. They took the baby and I did not hear him crying. And I had all these dreams and all like this, this sort of plan, like how stupid I was. Because here's the thing, of course, you could have a plan. You could have a birth plan. Um, and I think that's that's a very good mindset. But I was so, like, in my mind, thinking that that's how I wanted to be. And the C-section was such a big disappointment for me at first. Not anymore. Like, to think that uh, it wouldn't happen to me. Because you never know. Each, each pregnancy and each uh, childbirth is different. I didn't hear his crying. And I got crazy even more worried and it felt like forever from the time they took it out until the time that you know they gave it to me and then when they brought him to me I just cannot tell you the the feeling is indescribable it's oh baby and you know during my pregnancy so many moms uh would tell me oh my god you're gonna fall in love the moment you see him it's it's a love that uh, you've never felt before it's like this and like that and i was like okay okay like i i know what love is this this is a this is a different type of love this is a there, there are no words for this type of love. I saw him and I instantly knew that I would love this child and protect him with my life forever. Like, I, I would do anything for this baby. So this is how Eden came into this world. Alex was incredible support this whole time. I've never seen a man as strong as him and just it's not like I didn't know that he was going to be an amazing father but it just proved me everything that I knew in my head I knew that Alex would be a great father I knew that he would be great support during labor and childbirth and everything but you know when it happened it was like even 
higher than my expectations. I'm very, very blessed. A very blessed babe. I just did my makeup after a week. I'm not gonna ruin it. Oh my god, do I have stains on my... Yeah, I do. It's fine. It's some, like some kiwi or something. I don't know, whatever I ate earlier. I'm not a crier. I don't, I don't like to think about myself that I'm a crier, but ever since I gave birth, there are just so many emotions. And I sometimes look at the baby and I cannot believe that I mean, not myself alone, but like the body, like my body built it this tiny human being. And one week after, I am almost, I cannot say I'm back to normal. I am, you know, I'm on my feet. I, I am a normal person. It's absolutely amazing. And I know that this is like, especially if you have kids, you're probably like, uh, whatever, everybody is doing it. What are you even talking about? But when it happens to you, you guys, it's just a miracle. It's so divine and, and an experience that cannot compare with anything else. So grateful and so happy that I got to experience every single bit of this pregnancy, including the childbirth, even if it was not what I wanted. It was not what I expected or planned. I'm happy that Eden is healthy because he is healthy. <laughs> He's a healthy, strong little boy. He was born with four kilos, <laughs> 55 grams. So it was a big baby. A big baby, let me tell you that. I'm only 5'1", okay, to start with. Where, where did that baby have place? I do not understand. It's beyond me. Like, how did the baby... How? How? That's what I want to know. You guys, he looks like a one-month-old baby. Like, I'm not even joking. He's, he's big. He's got, like, chubby cheeks. He's so cute. Uh, obviously he's mine and I think that he's absolutely the most handsome boy in the world. So he's a big boy and he's also 51 centimeters. Goodbye newborn clothes. <laughs> oh baby. Well we had a little break because he's he's having uh, cramps. Poor baby. Anyway this was my birth story. I wanted to come here and share this with you because during this whole process, uh, especially on Instagram, you guys showed so much interest and so much love and so much support because I feel like you're part of the family in a way. After I gave birth to baby Eden, obviously I had to be in the hospital for a few days. I never imagined that C-section is such a pain in the... It's a very, very painful surgery. Obviously, I didn't feel anything when they were doing it, but I'm, ta I'm talking about everything that happens after. Like, if you sneeze, it feels like you're breaking from here in two pieces. And I was taking so many painkillers. They were giving me at the hospital. And with all that, I still felt so much pain. Till this day, like seven days after I gave birth, my tummy still hurts so much. Like I have to be careful how I um, get out of bed. I cannot stand for long hours. Um, unfortunately, right after, a uh, few days after I gave birth, they, they realized that I have some, some blood that hasn't been eliminated. I guess it was like a blood cloth or something like that. Until I eliminated that, I felt just horrible, horrible. And you can't use the restroom, um, or at least I couldn't use the restroom. The things that women go through, each and every one of us should have a statue. I'm, I'm not even joking. Anyway, everything is worth it, obviously. But getting back to my story, in the hospital, the hospital rule says that, you know, every mom needs to be tested for COVID. They did the test on Sunday when I was giving birth. They did the test on Monday. They did the test on Tuesday. And I was like, 
like what is going on why are you doing so many tests like every day and they were uh, saying that their whatever program they were using it's not working uh, and I was like it's not working for me or like for everyone else I'm like, what's going on and they said no it's for for everyone I don't we don't know what's going on uh, we have this problem and then Wednesday they came back and they said Oh, I'm sorry to let you know, but you have COVID. Paris has this period of time where, honestly, everyone I know has COVID. I was like, where, how, how did I get it? But that was a huge, huge part to the story because from that moment on, we had to wear a mask all the time around the baby. And Alex was not allowed to leave the hospital. If he would leave the hospital, it would have to be for good. He couldn't come back. And then little by little, we started to have symptoms, especially Alex. Coughing and fever. And it was not nice to have all this around a newborn. So that was just the cherry that made everything feel horrible. You're going home. We've made it. You're going home. You're so precious, my love. You're so precious, my love. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go home. Put it in the put it in the chair. Let's go. But then we got home eventually and the moment I left the hospital, I just realized that my whole life has changed. He's home. He's finally home. Yeah. You're a daddy. You're a daddy. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home, baby. This is your home. Yeah, baby boy, this is your home. I cannot wait to show you everything, you little baby. Absolutely everything is now changed. I came home. And I remember I went into my studio where I have all my makeup and there were like brushes on my uh, working table and makeup and a little bit messy. And I was thinking, wow, am I going to leave this life behind now? Like what's going on? Because it felt like the first week, you know, it felt like everything I was doing um, was feeding Eden sleeping and trying to manage the pain taking painkillers and that's pretty much it it's only been a week so i'm still adjusting to being a mom to this new life to a new schedule schedule that's way too much to to say because i don't have a schedule i am on demand feeding on demand waking up on demand whenever eden is up i'm up uh, and I love breastfeeding him. However, it took me forever to have the breast milk. I still don't have enough till this point. It's been a week and I don't have enough and I'm drinking a lot of tea and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to eat well. I know that a lot of women are in a hurry to get back into, you know, the body before the pregnancy. I don't know why, but I don't feel like that. It's not that I don't care. I don't want you to understand this wrong. It's not like, oh, I don't care how I look like. I can go days without showering. All I care for is my baby. I'm not like that. Like, I care for my well-being. However, when it comes to the exterior and the way I look, right now it's just not a priority for me and I am feeding myself well and I drink so much and I'm, I'm trying to do everything I can to to have more milk and I'm pumping it's tiring I'm not going to lie to you <laughs> it's very very tiring and it's very challenging he takes forever to be fed he's falling asleep while I'm breastfeeding him like three minutes in and he's like <sighs> And then when I wake him up, he's like, where is it? Where is the booby? Where is the booby? He's so cute. He's so incredibly cute. I cannot stop staring at him. 
I've tried to literally inhale and like do mental pictures with every single moment. I'm staring like a crazy person at him the whole time and hours could go by and I, I don't even realize that a, a full hour went by and I was just staring at my baby, how he's sleeping, how he's, how he's eating and every single facial expression that he does, I'm, oh my God, take a picture, take a picture right now, <laughs> call mom. We're both calling our moms on, face, on FaceTime because obviously no one can come uh, help us, my mom or his mom. So we're FaceTiming uh, them all the time, all the time. When we're changing him, we're FaceTiming our parents. <laughs> When we're feeding him, we're FaceTiming our parents because we, we, we just love to share this with, um, with the family, of course. Slowly and surely, I am getting a new routine, a new schedule. But I wanted to come in here and tell you guys that probably for a, a period of time, there won't be two videos um, every week. We're going to keep it for one video, um, but I promise you it's going to worth it. And I'm going to come with new makeup looks and new products and new techniques. And, and I'm going to be here for you, just not as often as I used to. At the end of the month, uh, we have Fashion Week in Paris. And I was so sure before I gave birth, I was so sure that I'm going to doing clients because I was thinking okay I'm going to be pumping expressing the milk and Alex is going to be able to help me a little bit we're going to have help during that time um but now that I gave birth fashion week can't wait next season it's gonna be there for me my baby Eden will grow up and I'm going to miss some very very precious moments and uh, I don't I don't want that I'm not ready to do that that that's not the kind of compromise that I can make fashion week can wait eight videos or nine videos a, a month on YouTube can wait um, I'm sure you guys will understand I have no doubt uh, and I wanted to thank you in advance for that everything can wait now I'm a mom and oh my god I can't believe it. I'm a mom. <laughs> okay, I think I was away from him quite enough time. It's time to wrap it up, but I'm glad that we had this conversation. Please make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel so that you're not going to miss any of my future videos. Uh, make sure you click on that ring bell so you be notified when I'm posting. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm showing baby. Eden a lot. Thank you so so much for watching. Uh, thank you for your kindness and for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!